Alright, hello everyone. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about Java GUIs, what stands for Graphical User Interface. And a GUI is basically any program that has a window that pops up on the screen. You can interact with it, click buttons, enter text, uh, yeah, do anything. It's It contrasts to the command line interface because before the command line, just text would pop up and you couldn't actually like have a window that would pop up and you can't like interact with it so but we'll change all that now so before I get started you're going to have definitely have some previous java knowledge because if you just try to dive right into this you're not going to get it well you might get it but cause like if you can't even if you don't even know what public class first gui does or means you're definitely not going to get this so watch some beginner tutorials if you have to and then come back and get started so First thing you have to do is import one thing, and it's Java X dot swing dot G uh, J frame, and then you have to extend extends J frame. And what this does is it enables this class to use the J frame um, methods and stuff from this library which we've imported. Now. And normally when we're building a GUI program we're going to have a constructor where we're going to put um, all of the stuff that we want our program to do and we're going to have variables too but in this program we're just making a blank window so we're not going to need a constructor or variables. So first thing I have to do is make a uh, GUI object. So to do that you type in the name of your class, whatever that is. You find that right here. So mine happens to be first GUI and then you name your object anything you want. I just call it GUI because it makes sense. Equals new first GUI. Now, you have to we have to manipulate this GUI object a little bit. There's about three or four things we have to do to it to actually make a window. Which is not that bad compared to other languages like C. It takes like seventy lines of code just to make a <coughs> window. So first thing you have to do is GUI dot set default close operation and then inside the parameters type in J frame <laughs> exit on close and why oh duh I didn't write the main method so public static void main string args whoop args and tab that over all right uh, you have to do that or else it's not going to work. So, what this does is it enables our window to actually terminate itself when we click the red X button in the upper right hand corner. If we don't have this, the window will close when we click that button, but the program will still run wasting system resources, which you don't want. So, another thing we need is GUI.set size, and that's pretty self explanatory. It just sets the size of the window. I'm just gonna make mine 200, comma 200. So it's gonna be 200 pixels wide and 200 pixels high. Next thing is GUI dot set visible true. And I really don't know why that's there, but you have to put it in anyways, or else the window won't pop up, but the program will run. And the last thing that's optional, but is recommended, is GUI dot set title. And this will appear at the top of the window, and you can name it anything you want. I'll call it first GUI, something like that. All right, now should be able to run this thing, and should run. Per um. Yep, here it is. First GUI. You can see 200 wide, 200 tall. You can resize it. You can minimize it. Maximize it. <laughs> nothing really else you can do yet because we haven't done anything all we done is, did is create a window but next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to like add text in here uh, text boxes, buttons radio buttons, all that good stuff which actually you can make a pretty cool pr you can make anything you want if you know what to do So I'm going to close this and see if you can see down here let me see yep it says build successful and that means it stopped running because 
I had this J-frame exit on close. If you didn't have that, it would probably just keep running forever and ever. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around for the next one.